Hey, my friends, welcome back. It's Deb from Bowl Me Over. I'm so glad you're here today. Um, we're gonna make something super yummy. This is a recipe that hasn't been on the blog that long. When I say that long, I mean maybe about six, eight months, but it's just like quickly risen to the top as people's favorite things. So what we're making today is crock pot steak and potatoes. It is easy. Um, I'm gonna even cheat and add some veggies to it. So uh, it's really simple, but let me, let's walk through this and let's get started. Um, first thing we gotta do is just wash the vegetables. So I have my strainer here in the sink and there's no reason to like wash them all separately. We can do them all at the same time. Um, so I have today potatoes, broccoli, and carrots. And I'll be honest, the video or the blog post doesn't have carrots or broccoli in it, but this lends really well just to having a big, huge one pot meal. So today, because I'm lazy and I don't want to cook them separately, um, I'm just adding it all to the crock pot and it'll be perfect that way. You could also add green beans. That would be super good. Um, so first, let's just quickly rinse off our veggies. And you don't have to make sure they're like super dry or anything like that. Um, we're just gonna rinse them off well so everything's nice and clean. Perfect. So before we get started and put everything in our crock pot, we all know, right? Make sure you spray it first. Um, we want that cleanup to be super easy. So that's why we spray the crock pot. You could also, you know, wipe it down with oil, but this is just, just easier and more simple. So the next step is just putting all the veggies in the crock pot and that'll be perfect because they're gonna sit on the bottom and as the steak cooks, it's gonna impart all of its wonderful um, yummy juices right into the steak and that'll be the next thing we do. So let me clean up my board and we'll, I'll show you what we're doing next. I wanted to give you a quick tip. Whenever it comes to when you're, you know, like cleaning meat or slicing it in half, I have one cutting board I use only for meat, um, for raw meat, I should say. I have a separate one that I use for raw chicken. And that way there's never any cross contamination, um, nothing to worry about there. So just a quick tip for you today. Okay, so we're ready to trim the meat and I have my, my old faithful cutting board. I only use this for red meat. Um, just to avoid cross-contamination. So what I want to do is I'm just taking the pieces of meat and I want to cut them into like serving sizes. If they were super fatty, I would also trim any fat off. Like, yeah, I don't like that part. And it adds flavor, but I don't like that part. So for me, I, I'm going to choose to just shave that off a little bit. I'm not shaving off all the fat in the meat because again, it adds flavor, but just um, making it more into serving size pieces. Um, I've had some comments on this one in there. When you look at the pictures, when you see the finished product, you're gonna think, oh my gosh, she pan seared the meat. Um, she didn't talk about that in the video at all. And I'm gonna tell you, no, there's no pan searing involved. It's just the easiest way it turns out like super rich and succulent. Um, it's really, really delicious. So the next step, because this really isn't very complicated at all, is just to put the meat in the crock pot. And then when we finish that, I'm gonna wash my hands really quick. So we're just adding the meat right on top of all the veggies. And hopefully you can see that. If not, we'll come over so you can see it well. We're almost ready to go. I'm busy cooking in the kitchen here and I just thought of something real quick. You know, anytime you're handling raw meat, make sure you wash your hands well. Um, you don't want to, I'm, I'm super big, <laughs> you don't want to go into cross-contamination or any of that. So just give your hands a real good wash. Use, use soap and water, obviously. I love my sink that starts automatically. And then you can feel good about what you're doing. Okay, we're two steps away. Um, we have our beautiful meat in the crock pot. It's ready to go. The next thing we're gonna do is just pour um, beef stock, and I'll have the recipe down below, but a cup of beef stock all over everything. 
And from there, our favorite, a Lipton onion soup mix. There's a lot of flavor in there, so we don't even have to put any onions or anything like that. We're gonna sprinkle that on top. Brown gravy, because why would I want to make gravy when it makes it for you, right? So, plus it adds a lot of flavor too. And it's part of what gives it that wonderful, rich um, taste and look. So we're just putting that over the top. Don't you just love an easy recipe? Okay, so I'm gonna seal my, my slow cooker. And I'm gonna set this on low for eight hours. That's it. It's a pretty simple recipe, huh? Okay, so while that's cooking, I wanted to ask you, do you have any questions about any of the recipes I've posted? I know I've shared a couple of the um, air fryer recipes, but do you have any questions about that? I have one more I'm gonna, gonna post later this week, but do you have any questions about air fryers? Like, what's your, your favorite? Um, you know, don't forget there's plenty of <laughs> instructions and tips and things on the blog, but I'd love to start a conversation about that. So um, pop a note, pop a question in there if you think of it. And then we'll see you in a few hours when this is done. I'm gonna let it cook for eight hours. It's gonna cook on low. I'm gonna do nothing else to it. So I'll see you back in a bit, okay? Hey, my friends, welcome back. It's, um, boy, has the house smelled good today. We've had this slow cooker steak and potatoes just simmering all day long. It's been on low. It's been about eight hours, and um, it's time for the big reveal here. So let's see how this turned out. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so good. So remember at the beginning when I said you do not have to um, sear the beef um, because it comes out like super browned and delicious? Check that out. Oh boy. <laughs> and of course we have it loaded with vegetables as well. So it's a wonderful, wonderful one pot meal. Look how yummy that looks. Oh, super hot. But I gotta give it a taste test and let me know so I can let you know what I think here. I've made this dozens of times. It turns out so amazing every time. And if you could see in here, there's just a really nice rich broth that you could also um, thicken with some cornstarch or a little bit of flour and water um, and make it thick enough to actually be a gravy as well. This is yummy. Mm. That's so good. Well, I know what I'm having for dinner tonight. How about you? Hey, thanks for following me. I appreciate it. Don't forget to stop by the blog at boldlyover.com. Check out TikTok. Appreciate a like and follow there. Um, and of course, subscribe to YouTube. I have some more tips on the blog. Go check it out when you can. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time, okay?